hanging. Just woke up to your nonsense video about crocodile tears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the fact you think I'm coordinating some troll movement. Whether you think I'm doing it the, the directly or not, I'm not sure. I think you actually do think I'm doing it directly. But if not directly, you think at least I'm indirectly being, as you described, some puppet master to coordinate a movement against you to try to tear down East West West. You are, you are kidding yourself, but you do you. You believe what you want to believe. Look, the internet is a big bad place, Angan. The internet is full of hundreds of thousands of people watching a sport. Maybe, 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 dare I say it, even millions, but at least the one hundreds of thousands of people watching our sport. When you go out as far as making intimidating demands, well, let's not say it. Let's be, let's be gentler. Kindly asking, but we know what kindly asking meant. Insisting that someone does something of your will, otherwise friendships will be burned and respect will be lost. When you ask someone of that, someone to do something that is completely unrealistic because you're completely not in touch with the way the internet functions and they resist you make all these assumptions that they are coordinating the result what you experience Dangan, is the fact that the subject matter you brought up the day you posted on your community tab that you kindly ask all youtube creators not to go live and I resisted. What you experienced was a divided community that you divided by bringing up that subject. You divided it. And when you have 50%, which was, seems to be where about the, the subject matter divides. When you have 50% of people who believe that you were wrong, and we're talking about hundreds of thousands of people, that's a lot of opinions against you. Now, if we want to divide that down even more, look, of the people who disagree with you, most of them are respectful people. They don't care. But this is the internet. Ready? This is where you can say anything you want. This is where you can create a troll account and do whatever you want, and you can try to get under the skin. Now, Angan, let's be honest. You talked about holding up mirrors. Hold up a mirror. You, sir are one of the most reactive people. The internet is a bad place for you. You need to hire somebody to front the social media for you because it's too stressful for you. It's clear that you don't cope with criticisms. This is coming from a man who's copped probably more criticism than any other arm wrestler. Probably, I don't know, maybe not, but probably. I think you'd agree with that. There was even a time, Engen, where you came to me to ask for advice on how to deal with the internet and criticisms. Uh, it was, it's been a long road and an evolution, but you are not dealing with them. And the fact that you're, you think that just because I am someone who opposed your iron will, iron fist of don't do lives, that it's me coordinating people. No, I'm just one of those people on the other 50% who disagree with you. And yes, I have a, I have a YouTube channel. But I have a family, and I have children, and I don't care for this nonsense, Angan. And I am not coordinating anything, any specifics, against you. When there's that many people in a divided opinion, and it's on the internet, there will be memes, there will be trolls, there will be words, uh, like, <laughs> there's just going to be opposition, and you have to know that that is going to exist. So if you are going to remain on the internet, good luck with learning to cope with that. I hope you do, because you, even though you don't believe it, I wish you well. I want all facets of arm wrestling to grow, East First West included. I enjoyed my time at East First West. I enjoyed competing and commentating, and, and I'll still remember all those times fondly. Not being involved in East First West is no stress to me. I've been in this sport for a decade now, and I've always independently continued my story. That is what my channel truly is, an independent documentation, a 
on my own journey and walk in the sport. It will continue to be. I will continue to train, get better, grow, and climb the ranks of arm wrestling. And whether you want to support me or not, Megan, that's fine. But crocodile tears, there are none. I wish you well at East First West. Maybe I will go live by the pool and just say good day to my subscribers and, and encourage them yet again to go and support your pay-per-view. But as I said in my community post, I won't this time because it'd actually be good. It'd actually be a good opportunity to collect some data and see which side of this debate is actually correct for the betterment of the sport. We can work it out. So you've got an opportunity, Angan. Actually collect some data and see what effect all of us YouTube creators going dark will do. Because then in the next event, we'll go live again. And as I, as I proposed, give us a, a code, a, uh, an affiliate link or something that we can promote that will drive people to your pay-per-view. And then you can see whether we have a positive effect or not. So anyway, again, I'm certain we do have a positive effect. You're certain we don't. Let's find out. And let's stop this nonsense for goodness sake. I wasn't going to create any videos like this. I was sticking to just updates on a community post because that's how little time I was giving to it. I, I dug my heels in on being told not to go live. And, but I thought this is not worth a video. This is just a ridiculous issue that Angan is asking. But anyway, it's it waking up this morning and seeing your crocodile tears video. Uh, it made me laugh. There are no crocodile tears. There are no crocodile tears here, Angan. You're deluded on this. All right, see ya.